We're doing a Camp Out With Kids program at the Cape Byron Steiner School. We have 25 parents and 25 kids aged between 6 and 11 who've all come along to camp. Was the brainchild of Dr Anna Rubenstein, who's the founding CEO of the Pathways Foundation. He and I formed a business a year and a half ago, determined to take the work of Pathways further. And what we have identified is a real need to plant the seed of stronger families and hence stronger communities at a younger and younger age. What we've worked out is that the you can't start raising a teenager once they already are a teenager. You actually have to start as early as possible. I'm Charlie and this is Gerald. Thanks, Charlie. <laughs> and I reckon if we get in early, aged six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and they get to spend quality time with their parents, that relationship will help them later on. We don't get to do a lot when it's just us. Um, it's usually the whole family. We do a lot of things, the four of us together, but not so much just Olivia and I, so that's a really nice opportunity to do that. So we identified that the easiest way to have a camp was rather than to find a campsite was to do it at school. So that's why it's Camp Out With Kids at schools. I've got a show bag for you. Camp Out With Kids. Inside this is a whole lot of things for you to share with. There's headbands, name tags, torch, compass, activities book, things like that. Does mum play up at night or is she well behaved? Oh, that's good. Camp Out is about, yeah, first of all just camping and having a great fun, uh, kids and parents, but also starting the idea of storytelling and, and honouring, you know, recognising the individual gifts and talents that you are, is, are in each of the kids. We believe if we can start at this age, it makes the work later on a lot easier. We don't want to be waiting until kids are going off the rails and then saying, what can we do? You know, we don't actually think they need to go off the rails. We don't think that teenagers need to get separated from the rest of their family and do it on their own. Look at these three fine, fantastic young men, all been through programs. Chin up, chest out. <laughs> in our school, I guess, like I said, it's not unfamiliar for the children, but for some children in the city, I guess it's the first time that they might have ever been camping or and just having that connection one-on-one. -on -one. You know, I think that kids, every child has a unique gift or talent or genius within them. And if we recognise that, if it's seen, it's really important to be seen by their parents. If we give the parents the opportunity to see that and, ex and express to the child that they see that, then their child can hopefully live with that acknowledgement. So I find it with the teenage kids too, if you start to, to acknowledge the, their unique gifts and they rec they, they've been seen and recognised, then they begin to live more through those gifts rather than hide them. So this work and the work we've been doing for the last 20 years is really about finding ways that we can stay engaged with teenagers and support them through what is a challenging but also hopefully really wonderful time in their lives. Oh, no.